out tonight, and this is a big story. Charges have been dropped tonight against the man who fatally stabbed another man on a subway train in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Jordan Williams facing manslaughter and a weapons charge in the stabbing of De Victor Wedrogo on a J train earlier this month. I'm sure you remember this case. He was facing that, but a grand jury was shown video of the incident and then declined to issue an indictment in this case. Independent witnesses also supported Williams' claim that he acted in self-defense. Well, now to the indictment of Daniel Penny in the subway choking death of Jordan Neely. And the former Marine pleaded not guilty to charges of second-degree manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide today. He insists he was defending himself and others on the train that day. Today, prosecutors revealed new information in the case against Penny. Here's Albany News reporter N.J. Burkett. Daniel Penny rushed from criminal court surrounded by bodyguards and said nothing to reporters. The indictment charges Penny with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. That the former Marine Corps sergeant recklessly caused the death of Jordan Neely. His attorneys predicted that Penny will be exonerated by a sympathetic jury. The reality is that there is not a living, breathing soul in Manhattan that has not experienced a variation of what not only Mr. Penny, but the other individuals experienced on that subway car on the day in question. Penny admitted to detectives that he subdued Neely after Neely burst onto an F train and began ranting, throwing trash, and threatening riders. Neely was very aggressive, going crazy, that people in the subway were afraid for their safety. I just came up behind him and put him in a chokehold, he said. He was threatening everybody. The DA says the evidence shows Penny acted almost instantly, wrestling Neely into a chokehold within a minute and held him that way, allegedly putting Jordan Neely in a deadly chokehold for several minutes until and after he stopped moving. Former prosecutor so David Schwartz. The whole case is going to hinge upon how long that chokehold took place for. And did it reach a moment in time where Mr. Penny consciously disregarded a risk that a death could occur? Neely was 30 years old and homeless with a documented history of mental illness and dozens of arrests. His supporters contend he had not harmed anyone on the train that day before he was subdued. Daniel Penny killed the man. He took a life. And for everyone who thought donating $3 million would somehow make this go away or buy his pass, it's not going to happen. Prosecutors revealed today that they have five cell phone videos from three different eyewitnesses as well as MTA surveillance video. Penny pleaded not guilty today and remains free on bail tonight. In Lower Manhattan, NJ Burkett, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.